what is going on guys? For the next segment of this video, we are gonna talk about my top five favorite truck builds we ever did. And I'm gonna tell you guys some of the top features of those projects that I like with a little bit of before and after action. The first one on my list of top favorites, and these are not in any specific order like this one is the most favorite. This is the least favorite out of the five. These are my top, just my top five favorites. If I had to pick it, narrow it down to the top five out of the probably 30 plus pickup trucks I've owned in the last few years, this is gonna be the top five. And let me know down in the comment section below what your top pick is. First one on my list as a top favorite is gonna be LNP DG12, which was the second gen Longhorn. This was a regular cab, 96 Ram, 12 valve, and it started out in super rough shape. This thing had a few small dents, some dings, super patinaed. I mean, the interior wasn't terrible, but it wasn't perfect either. But it had low mileage. It was a 120,000 mile pickup truck with a five speed manual in it and four wheel drive. And I thought, this truck has some potential. Now, that truck was very cheap to buy but it was very expensive to transform. I mean, that thing needed paint, wheels, tires, minor front suspension work. We did a leveling on it. It had the whole front end rebuilt. We did a bed liner in it, tent. I mean, we had a lot of stuff done. Aftermarket front bumper, grill, lighting. I mean, it had a lot of stuff done. It wasn't a lot under the hood, but it was a lot of work into the fine details of that truck. It even had custom diamond stitch leather interior and just the front bench on that truck was almost $3,000 just to have the front bench made. I think it ended up being about $2,400 before tax. I mean, that was just, just a front bench because that's all it is, was a three passenger truck. But the fine details made that build, to me, one of my top favorites out of the top five that we've ever done. Number two on my list was actually the very next giveaway that we ever did after that one, which was LNP DG13. And that was a 2001 73 Power Stroke. I believe it had either 166 or 170,000 miles on it. So it was a fairly low mileage, 7.3 for being an 01. And that thing was a crew cab, long bed, bone stock truck. It was a middle-aged man that owned it and he just babied the thing, took care of it. I mean, that thing, you could eat off the undercarriage of that thing and eat off the engine bay. It was so freaking clean. And like when you looked at his shop, it was so clean and it was on a farm. He had, you know, tons of agricultural equipment, huge barns, but every single one of his barns were super well organized and super clean. And I was like, man, I'm like, this truck is just immaculate. He said, it's a lot cheaper to keep it nice than it is to keep replacing it. And so that's just kind of how I keep my stuff, you know? So it stands true in that truck. We did, you know, full color matching on the front end with the mirrors rear bumper, front bumper, I mean everything. And some people didn't like that we used a 7.3 front bumper and just paint matched it instead of converting it to a 6.0 to do the full front 6.0 swap look. But I liked that it was a little bit different. So it had like that 6.0 look because it had the 6.0 grill on it, but it was actually a 6.0 grill in the lower bar on the grill, the very last bar on the bottom of the grill was actually cut down a couple of inches to fit the 7.3 bumper with the 6.0 style headlight. The truck looked great and it took an amazing transformation in the couple weeks that we got to work on it and stuff. Didn't do a lot in terms of performance, but every build that we've done usually has a particular purpose in mind. And sometimes we find trucks that we're like, okay, this is a truck that it needs to look good, but it doesn't need to be overdone because it's almost gonna take away from the effect of the project and the likingness of it from people. So that truck turned out awesome. Definitely one of my favorites, definitely a top five. Little before and after here of that truck. I mean, that was the before and the after. And some guys are gonna say, oh, I way rather would've had it left stock like it was before, and, and I get that, but those subtle changes, wheels and tires, color matching front and rear bumper, 6.0 grill trimmed down, aftermarket headlights, newer Super Duty mirrors, smoked cab lights, full custom black leather interior. The whole thing was jet black inside. It was so sick, looked awesome, and I was super, super satisfied with how that build turned out. Number three on the list. This is gonna be, oh man, this is a good one. The 2015 2500 six-speed manual regular cab fourth gen. And that truck, so we threw a front leveling kit on it. We did painted front bumper, paint match rear bumper, custom fourth gen Laramie style grill, paint match, put the chrome RAM lettering on that grill 
smoked out the headlights, color matched the mirrors. And then on the inside, we did a full custom leather interior on that truck as well, because it was cloth interior. We did a full custom jet black leather interior on that one as well. And then we took out that factory SLT style head unit, and we did a full Laramie interior. And so it was like a full blown Laramie, regular cab, long bed truck, tonneau cover, all that stuff freaking power deploying steps. I mean, it was a freaking beautiful truck and it only had, I think like 36 or 32,000 miles on it when we gave it away. It was a super low mileage truck too. And it was just, it went from a grandpa truck to just a totally tricked out and sick looking freaking G56 regular cab, fourth gen Cummins. And it was, again, no drastic changes, but just enough to just make that thing pop. The American forces that we put on it, it just, it just topped off to look. It was 22 by 12s and it just looked Perfect, not too wide, but just wide enough to make it look aggressive. Gonna go to number four, and number four is gonna be a truck that I just, it, it was one of these that I wish we had a little more time with it, and you know, like, when I when I gave it away, I thought, oh man, like, this, this thing is done, like, we just got it done, and I was like, okay, it's good to go, it's done, but that truck had so much more potential to be even cooler, and it would have made it cooler just because of what it started from. So this is a, I believe it's a 1991, W250 12 valve Cummins in that truck it it came basically like when we bought it it looked like it was at the it came from a junkyard I mean it was rough and we had to I went three hours away almost bought a regular cab D250 gasser did a full conversion with the bed, swapped the bed on it, swapped the door, swapped the fender, swapped the hood. I mean, I swapped every body panel on that truck. And by the time it was done, I mean, we were we were so far into the truck to where like, at the time I thought it's not even worth the money anymore, but it's not even about that. It's just about, you know, resurrecting one of these old school diesels that are kind of getting kicked to the curb and using a two wheel drive gas body to resurrect that truck and it just turned out really good. The paint on that thing was so sparkly, so nice. I was so impressed with how Miguel did the paint on that truck. It was just, couldn't have been better. The gauges in it, custom brown interior, leather. I mean, it was it was nice. The Nitto tires, the 16 by 10s. I just love that truck and it went from being like, you know, a three or $4,000 junker, five speed four wheel drive that was just beat to crap to like, dang, that thing's nice. and. You know, well, it's not everybody's cup of tea. You know, some people like the trucks that are crazy modified, uh, and some guys just like having those old trucks that were just given a second chance and restored. And honestly, that's one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes it's restoring an old truck that was really just rough, like the second gen Longhorn and that one. And sometimes it's just taking an old truck that wasn't touched other than kept in really good condition and maintained and making that something that looks completely insane, which isn't near as much work as it is to completely restore these old ones as much as you can. Crazy love for those old things. The reason I'm gonna say this is because there's there's a lot of trucks that were like, I freaking love that truck, but I'm talking about five, top five trucks that you know we made changes to, heavy changes to, that just really changed the vehicle in terms of how it either looked or performed. And I would have to go with LNP DG25, and that was the white third gen 5.9 we called Casper, and that thing was freaking bad. So when we bought that truck, I mean, it was probably making close to 600 if you would have put it on a dyno, maybe a hair under that. Um, you know, it was a ratchet shaft built firepunk transmission, uh, and it was bad, but it was super smoky, burned, an incredible amount of fuel and it just it was just not efficient super smoky didn't spool the best I mean it was fun but it wasn't like using its full potential so that truck when we picked it up first thing we did we color matched the whole front end so we got rid of all the chrome got rid of all the black painted plastics got it all color matched color matched the mirrors and everything we just got that all done and then once we did that we took it up to get tuned because the tuning work was one of the big aspects to that build. So we got the tune put on it and that thing went from being like maybe 600 to like every bit of 800 horsepower. I mean that truck was nasty. You put it in four wheel drive and you try to launch it on dry pavement, it's shredding all four tires. Like it was just, it was just insane. It was a monster. And that truck was one that we didn't do a ton to in terms of the performance mods. All we did was we took a platform that was set up pretty darn good. They just never finished it, and then we finished it. We did the, all the color matching, all the exterior stuff to finish it off, and then we took it to get the tuning work done to make that thing just 
absolutely incredible and really finish it off. And that is gonna be my number five. Now, again, there's a lot of trucks that I just freaking love for totally different reasons, like the Flat Nasty. That thing is gonna be, if I had to pick, you know, make a different list, maybe make a different video on like my top three trucks that we ever did for towing. Obviously, you're gonna see Nasty Red. You're gonna see Flat Nasty on there. You're gonna see, I mean, you're gonna see some different trucks on there. Man, that's gonna be my top five giveaway trucks that we've ever done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that list. I thought I'd go through and share with you my top five and give you some before and afters. You know, it's sometimes it's easy to forget and lose track of just how much time has gone by. Like we've been doing this for, it's coming up on five years soon. I've been doing YouTube since early 2017. We've been doing YouTube a while. It's getting up there in the in time. I just, it's hard to believe. It's just so hard to believe that it's been every bit of four years, but almost five years since we've been doing this whole YouTube thing. However, guys, I do have to let you know that this is your last chance to get 15 times entries to win the flat and nasty 12 valve Cummins built to work, ready to go, plus $5,000 cash. If you wanna to enter to win that truck, go to lmpgear.com, just place an order, check out, and you're automatically entered to win. It is going back to one X entry as soon as it hits midnight tonight. So if you want those 15 X entries, I would recommend you get those pronto. So thanks so much, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Let me know what your favorite project is that we've ever done. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe also because we do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I would not want you guys to miss out on any of the videos. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.